Uh, but we're, I want to thank everybody truly for being here this morning, uh, for attending this much anticipated event. Uh, we're going to celebrate, obviously, the completion of the Sterling Home Bar and the Improvement Project. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to recognize uh, a few that were involved in this project uh, for a long time. I've got my fellow commissioners here, uh, Cecil Pendergrass and oh, Brian Hammond. Unfortunately, uh, Frank Mann and uh, Kevin Wayne uh, make up a seven of some of the guards. Um, I want to offer a special uh, welcome to Paula Kiefer. Um, Paula championed this project along with her uh, former husband, uh, Larry. Um, who passed and was my predecessor in between what I've heard about the good things with Larry and what Paul was able to pass on. I thank you very much and it's been uh, very helpful to my, my wife and myself. I um, want to uh, uh, Roger you with Jay, the county manager who uh, tries to keep us all on track every day which is not an easy task. I have uh, the uh, Honorable Mayor of Fort Myers Beach, Ray Murphy. My new son-in-law, his name is Kelly, and so I called the mayor and said, how do you, uh, I think, um, this Irish-Italian thing, he said, I'll send you the notes. So, <laughs> so anyhow. A lot of them, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also wanted to mention the Fort Myers Beach Town Council, Rex Ann, Dan Allers, Jim Adderhall, Bill Beach. Bill just got back from skiing, so we're taking some notes on that. And uh, uh, very much enjoy working with all of them and the mayor. Mayor's people a bit later. Unfortunately, the Sheriff Palmer Marcino, who takes care of us every day, couldn't be here. We got Captain uh, Jim uh, Labor and Lieutenant Mark uh, Bender. So, um, former, I got a note from former uh, Mayor uh, Anita Saraceda yesterday. She wanted to be here. She's going through some tests for knee surgery. So, if she limps in here, let me know. But I, I don't anticipate seeing her. Uh, we also have representatives from Chris Scott's office, Congressman Byron Donald's office, and uh, Ray Rodriguez's office. I haven't seen them yet, but I'm here. Welcome to uh, say hello. And, and uh, I think this is emblematic of the interest we've seen in Southwest Florida and certainly in this project here. Um, one of my favorite people at the beat was Jackie Lizak. And stuff like this, I was talked to her as the, the heart of, of the beach. Uh, I thought I could run pretty hard, but I can keep up with that. So, there's, uh, we also have our fire chief, Ron Martin. Well, it's not too hard to spot. You know. <laughs> Between Ron and Cecil, I'm running behind a big offensive line, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, board chair, Larry Wood. Larry's is here. Larry, how are you? And fire commissioner, uh, Jim Nichols, and stuff like that. Uh, to all our first responders, thank you very much for what you do every day for all of us. So let me briefly take you through the task that we uh, that this ended up in. This project was actually slated for 10 years. Uh, it was done in seven, and uh, probably not fast enough. But um, it was uh, it was a priority for the county. Good cooperation, you know, certainly the Fort Myers Beach and town council and everything, and great contractors, and got done early. I got a call one day and they said, Commissioner. The road looks great, but we have a problem now. I go, what's the problem now? People are going too fast. <laughs> that I can't control, but I want to encourage everybody. Uh, it's a great road. Be careful out there, because we've got a lot more activity. Uh, this was a really formidable uh, undertaking. Um, our main, yep, this is our main road, as you all know, and, and it's very confined. Uh, my son actually works in Colorado and builds infrastructure. When I saw this for the first time, I thought, this is really complicated especially with residences on both sides and contractors and everything. So it was, uh, but uh, it was a project, a quality of life project for our residents, for our hotels and businesses, and certainly for our many visitors. Um, structurally required a, uh, a new and efficient drainage system. I spoke at Nervous Nellies one day, the day before it rained hard, and I thought, if I go down there and lift my knees in water, this is not going to go well. <laughs> but fortunately, it was dry and uh, it showed that the team could really do it on this. Sidewalks. I saw Jim Adderall this morning. I walked down here. How nice that sidewalks on both sides. 11 miles, you know, and uh, of sidewalks and stuff. So uh, be careful. Be courteous to one another. Uh, whether it's people walking, whether it's biking, and so on and so forth. We've got turn lanes on much of the corridor. Uh, safety and prevalence. Uh, we still we've got uh, a little bit of work to do there, but it's getting closer to where we want to see the end game. Um, 
the tram. Uh, they are so important to moving people down here in this confined space. And they're doing a, doing a great job of how we move things around, how we move people safely. And uh, I want to thank the tram and their staff. Uh, I have a connection there because, well, my, brother, my assistant, uh, her husband, is the guy the tram. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Um, I try to ride my bike almost every morning, and, and um, uh, it's, it means a lot to me. I, I saw an article this morning with somebody who's driving through all 50 states, and I thought, that's pretty impressive. And uh, he said uh, he's lost 30 pounds already. And I thought, well, that's a try that. You know? <laughs> and um, he said, wait, well, you get on the bike, ride for eight hours a day, and you can do the same thing. I thought, well, that's probably not going to happen, so it is what it is. But it's such an important part of the quality of life here. Whether you're walking, whether you're on a bike, uh, just please again you know, be safe. Uh, we've got some uh, turn lanes that, that will help. So in, in, in bringing all that together, so it's it's nothing that time, patience, expertise, and eighty million dollars can deliver. So <laughs> thanks to everybody. The second biggest guy in the crowd here is my fellow commissioner, Cecil Pendergrass. And uh, Cecil's been with this project you know, for a long time. Like uh, Cecil Pump Safety Words, and been followed by Brian. Good, good morning, and thanks for being here. Isn't it great to live in Florida and Lee County, Florida? Is there any places? Yeah. Yeah. So, I just want to say thank you for all the residents and business owners for your patience the last eight years. It's been a long time, but it's been and definitely worth it. I'd like to thank all the staff that brought this forward. Our staff works so hard on we have our DOT staff. I know Dave Love is here for community development. Randy Searchy and Rob Price for our DOT staff. Howard Wheeler is here for Chris Dell. Chris Dell, thank you for a great job done here. And like Ray said, this is an amazing job to be down here in such a tight area to work in with the residential and the businesses and all the visitors here every year. So thank you for your patience. It's been an unbelievable project. And I just want to say thank you to the Fort Beach. Congratulations to the town of Fort Beach. Mayor, it's great work with you and your council. Well, good morning, Fort Myers Beach. Isn't it a great morning to be at the beach? There really are no bad mornings out here, though, are there? Uh, I'm Brian Hammond. I'm a county commissioner from District 4, and uh, I just want to start the same way Commissioner Pendergrass did. Thank you so much to the residents of Fort Myers Beach and the businesses for being patient and working with us through this seven-year process, and I hope what you now see at the end of the day was worth the wait, because I tell you, it was, wasn't it? You know, one only has to look at the drive from the bridge down to this restaurant to see the benefits of this road. You know, obviously the drainage, which you, you'll see on a rainy day during the summer, the sidewalks, the bike paths, the fact that people are able to, to get up and down the beach in what I think is probably the most efficient manner, the bikes and the walking uh, here on Fort Myers Beach, but also do it safely with the cars while they continue to travel and get on their way too. I think this is a tremendous opportunity, and I think the, the number one person who we've already recognized today who needs to be recognized again, though, is Commissioner Larry Kuyper. Um, I got on the board in October of 2013, and this was the dream of Commissioner Larry Kiker to see this happen. Paula, it's so awesome that you're here today, um, and I know Larry would be proud. I know he's proud looking down on us today at this. And uh, So this is one of those days where, as a county commissioner, it's probably one of the most rewarding days to be in office, to see you all enjoying something that we worked so hard on for seven years, and I hope there are many more years of enjoyment to come. Thank you all. And you know, the only other Irishman that I know is the mayor. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, we'd love to have your thoughts and thank you for your cooperation for you, your council, uh, for neighbors, and uh, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, not good morning, great morning. It's a great morning on Fort Myers Beach. Good day. So I welcome all of you here today, in particular the county commissioners. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Your staff, Roger, uh, all the uh, department heads that have been mentioned already, Randy Search, you did from your day. And, uh, and of course, uh, I have to re reiterate what the uh, commissioners have already said uh, about, uh, about Larry Kiker. Paula? Uh, as you well know, and as we all know down here on the beach, Larry 
was not a commissioner first. He was a town councilman on Fort Myers Beach and a mayor. So it was it was uh, Mayor Kiker that uh, was elected to the uh, to the county commission. And yes, it was his dream to do this boulevard out here, get these repairs made, and he got it done. So he was able to uh, he was able to work with the uh, with the gentleman on the board at the time and uh, and get this project through. And here we are today. Here we are today. So again, thank you, Paul. I have to tell you, gentlemen and uh, staff and everybody else, that uh, the road is great. I mean, uh, it's, it's not only does uh, the boulevard drain in the summertime now, we have a dry boulevard out there, but it's also a fantastic boulevard for parades. We've had two parades here in the past couple of weeks, and uh, it's been a pleasure. It's a nice wide boulevard, uh, lots of room for people on the sides, and uh, we're, we're, we're thoroughly enjoying it so far. So thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank a few other people here uh, that are gathered this morning. Again, to you, the county commissioners, thank you so much for your cooperation. Our District 3 commissioner, our local commissioner, Ray Santelli, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Cecil, <laughs> Chairman, and of course, Commissioner Brian Hatton. Thank you very much. And to Frank and Kevin Warren here today. Uh, I'd also like to recognize our uh, town council members that are here today. Uh, Vice, Mes Vice Mayor uh, Rex Ann Hospross is here. Councilman Bill Beach. Councilman Jim Haderholt. Jim, where are you? You're all here somewhere. There you are, right there. And uh, Councilman Allers uh, couldn't make it this morning. And of course, uh, our, our town manager, Roger Hernstadt, is here, uh, who, who uh, worked closely with the county on this project all the way through. Not only. It wasn't, it wasn't all county project. We also, the town's portion of it was the stormwater uh, maintenance and drainage and so forth. And uh, that was a very big part of the project as well. I'd like to thank uh, Rob Fallon from, uh, from the Lee County, who, uh, who was our man. Where are you, Rob? <laughs> this, Rob, you ran a great job. This, this was Rob Fallon's job. And, uh, and Rob was dutiful to, uh, to report to us every month at the town council and uh, give us the status updates. And he was patient with us with the, uh, with the, with the criticisms and so forth. And, uh, and he got a great job done. Uh, also uh, in those meetings was, uh, was Darren Brown. I saw Darren earlier. Darren's here, another one of the uh, contractors who uh, did a fantastic job out here. And uh, we appreciate the efforts, uh, Darren. Um, and I of course, I couldn't. Uh, Go on without mentioning Kay Molnar. Kay is here. Kay, Kay uh, was our person here that, her, with her refresh uh, uh, boulevard, anything that went wrong out here, anybody that had a complaint, anybody had a question, anybody, she was the clearinghouse for the whole project, and she did a fantastic job. And she also reported us to, uh, on the council level monthly, and we appreciate all your efforts, Kay. Thanks so much. I, 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 couldn't, uh, I couldn't go on this morning without thanking the contractors. Uh, you, guys, you guys are the ones that get it done out here. Uh, and and uh, so we, I want to thank all of you general contractors, subcontractors, but in particular, I want to thank the workers. The guys that were out here with these pitches, digging these pitches and laying this pipe and, and getting down in here in our heat, in our rain in our cold. I mean, these guys were unbelievable. Yep. And, uh, and, and they did a fantastic job. And uh, I, I wanna make sure they get recognized. So thank you all very much. I also like, uh, while we're thanking these guys, is the, uh, the flagmen. The flagmen here on, the, on this project, they were fantastic. They were fantastic. They, uh, they, they kept us safe and, uh, and they let us through and, uh, and they did it with good humor and, uh, and they did a great job. And, uh, so if, if Squeaky is here, he was my friend out there. Is that you back there, Squeak? Hey. No, he's not here. All right. Well, those are my guys out there, and uh, they did a fantastic job. So uh, I thank all of you. And lastly, I want to thank mostly uh, the people of Fort Myers Beach. Ray has already alluded to it, but I, I just want to say that uh, it was because of your patience this was a long project. We, we, we've never endured anything quite like this before down here on the beach. I've been here a long time. We've never had a project like this before. It was comprehensive. It was long. But 
but you were patient and uh, and and, uh, and you hung in there and you waited and here it is and we're, and we're rejoicing today. So I, I thank all the people on Fort Myers Beach for for their patience and uh, and for for hanging in there and and now we can enjoy this uh, this boulevard that uh, has been provided for us. So thanks so much for your uh, for your patience. And, and lastly, I just want to say that. Uh, I almost feel like this is a graduation ceremony. I should be standing up here handing out uh, master's degrees and PhDs <laughs> to all the people on Fort Myers Beach that know so much about road projects these days and, uh, and could certainly teach a class about it down at FGCU or any other university in the state of Florida. So anyhow, thanks, you, thanks to everybody for coming out and, uh, and God bless you all. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to uh, introduce our county manager, Roger DeLaje, for his comments and to have him introduce our DOT director, Randy Searcy. Uh, these guys are invaluable to me, uh, to you, and the county. And uh, Roger, Roger's got the really cool car. Uh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for being here. Um, everybody in the crowd who knew Larry Kike, raise your hand. All right, so you're going to understand what I'm about to tell you. I came to work for Lee County in 2013, but I've been a county manager for a long time. And my first conversation with Commissioner Kaika was, well, you have to go rebuild uh, down at Fort Myers Beach. I'm like, nah, uh -uh. not me now. <laughs> yeah, you're out. Yeah, so you know how the rest of the conversation went. Larry, Larry was a really smart guy, but if you were sitting across the table from one of these conversations, it was a stream of consciousness. I still have notes from those conversations. And then, boy, they go this way and that way and around and back. Well, finally, Larry, as a force of nature, uh, convinced his colleagues that this uh, this project should become a priority, and it was. Paula, I, I miss Larry. Uh, he was a great commissioner and a, and a good friend, and but not for him, uh, this project, you know, would not have gotten started. I want to thank the county commission especially. They um, they really hung in with us on this project. This. In all these years I've been doing this kind of work, this is the most complicated road project I've ever been involved with. When we started uh, down uh, at the very beginning, the, only, the road was only 50 feet wide. That's all we had to work in. And when Howard started digging, he didn't know what he was going to find. We found everything but human bones, I think. And it was just lots of others. I don't know, maybe he did, just didn't tell us. No, no, Howard's going, nah, uh nope. <laughs> Howard and his crew did, did a great job. Um, can't thank them enough, but I, but this, the county commission, they, they, really, um, they really deserve a, a special thank you. This is a great group of guys who understand how to create good policy, and they agreed to spend about $80 million on this project. And um, as you all know, that's, that's not chump change, especially in this economy, so thank you to the commission. I'd like to introduce Randy Searchy, who's our director of the Department of um, Transportation, and Weren't for Randy and his guys uh, being on this project, I, I just, you know, we, we'd have never gotten through it. So, Randy? Good morning. Thank you for coming. I'd like to thank Commissioner Sandell and all the commissioners and county administration for the continued support and vision for this and all of our big projects. I'd like to thank the town of Fort Myers Beach for the timely funding and pushing their water line out in front of our jobs so we can keep building it. I'd like to thank other utilities that coordinated and adjusted their facilities so we could keep moving. FPNL, CenturyLink, Comcast, Tico, Summit, Crown Castle, and Lee County Utilities. I'd like to thank the design teams, T.Y. Lynn and Jim Molnar on the early phases, Dan Craig with Stantec Cardno on the later phases, Tetratech who designed the water line for the beach, uh, with Brett Mesmer, and V. Lofton and Ryan Bell with for Johnson Engineering for the CI in the job. I'd like to thank Kay Molnar as well for selling Molnar for the public information. And especially the contractor Chris Sell with Howard Wheeler and Bob Koenig and Darren Brown and all their subcontractors and all the county departments and the staff, and especially our Rob Phelan, our project manager. Rob Phelan, Darren Brown, B. Lofton, and Kay Molnar were the heart of this project to build it block by block. And again, like others before me, I'd like to thank the residents so much for putting up with the dust and the congestion and the, and the traffic switches and the noise. Can't thank you enough for your patience. Thank you.
And so finally, just want to again, uh, a sincere thank you to all the county and town staff, our partners, the Fort Byers Beach community. You never has to have to call me more than once to come down and say, can you come down and take a look at this? It's, uh, it's a joy to be here with all of you today. Um, it's, it's an incredible community. Let's be safe. Let's be welcoming to those who come to visit. And congratulations to all the businesses also down here that you know worked through all the challenges. It's been a pleasure. Uh, so we're going to move over to the ribbon the cutting situation here. Um, Bessie will take care of that. So like some of those that we mentioned, if there's enough room, everybody's welcome. And if you don't have the scissors, you can use mine. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye, Sharon. Bye-bye, Sharon.